all right, let's talk. I'm not gonna like speak super formal and super professional like I do with my weapon reviews. Here, I'm just gonna talk like a normal person and just rant about what I think about the map. So, we're gonna start off with the map that I hate the fucking most. And I'm sure- Shut up, whoever text, whoever's texting me. Let's just- I think we can all agree on this. This map is by far the worst map in entry point. And I do not care what a single person says, Oh, you're just bad at the game. Oh, like, the map's not even that hard- Shut the fuck up! Sashano did such a great job at making these maps. All of the maps are- you know, some, kind of balanced one way or another with stealth and loud. Some of these maps are harder to do stealth, some of these maps are harder to do loud. But overall, RNG dependent in some ways and straightforward in others. So Shadow did a pretty good job with the map layout. Here, this map is just straight up RNG and just fucking hell. Let's start with stealth. Now, what's the most important thing with stealth? You need to be patient and you need to be skilled. How do you do this mission? Well, simple. First thing you need to do is find a way in. You can't just open the doors. No, that would make too much sense. You have to shut down the magnetic locks on one of the doors. Yeah, one. There's so many entrances and so many different ways in, but you can only unlock one fucking door. Unless you have a blowtorch, you just feel like saying fuck it. But I don't know why you would do that, because at that point, if you just want to like throw away your entire run of stealth, just go loud and smash one of the windows in. Anyway, so you go around the entire house looking for this power box, which can be in several different locations around the house. Oh, and did I mention there's still a couple of guys outside? So you find it, drill it or lockpick it, and then boom, one of the doors is now unlocked. It could be in the back door or it could be the fucking front door. You don't know what you're going to get. Once you're inside, you need to get past the giant fucking metal door, which can spawn in here, which is discreet and makes it kind of easy to open and close without anybody seeing, or it could spawn right here, where everybody and their mom can fucking see it if you open. So you can't have that. You have to kill everybody. How are you going to do that? Well, if you haven't noticed already, every time you knock somebody out or kill them, it doesn't even matter how fast you do it, there are radio spawns. You don't even have, they don't even have to see you. If you kill them, they're radio spawns, and it's dumb. It's fucking stupid. So you go into one of the four rooms that are locked. There's six rooms, but you can see two of them from the outside, and those rooms never have the control room. You need to find one of the four rooms that has control room, which can be here, which can be in places that are hidden where you're probably going to get seen less often trying to lockpick the door, or in areas like this where everybody will see you if you try to open it. So, if you have absolutely terrible RNG and this control room is here, you're fucked. Just don't even try. Restart the run. If it's there, you're fucked. Simple as that. It's not like you can precision drilling it either, so you can continue. Because if you open the door, after that, somebody's gonna see it. So it's dumb. You have to kinda just like, pray to God that you can actually make the time to lockpick that door open. Especially on Legend, like that's just brutal. So yeah, you find control room, interrogate this asshole, and then, oh no, 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 you're not done yet. You have to find head of security. Yes, yes, yes. Who's head of security? Well, could be anybody in the fucking house. That's right, more RNG. It can be anyone in the house, which can be as simple as two or three people, or it could be four people. You can guess and fail. I don't know why you would do that or you can just figure out who the the head of security is by knocking out, by interrogating security. That simple. Once you do that, you can kill everybody on the map, no more radios to deal with, which is good. So yeah, you've taken care of everybody in the house. Nobody outside the house should be able to come in unless they see something suspicious. I don't know how they know that the door was unlocked, but I'm not here to argue with entry point logic right now. So. Then you need to find the code. Where do you find the code? In one of three files that can be anywhere in the fucking house. Unless the room is locked, which is one of the six rooms I mentioned earlier. Other than that, the files could be fucking anywhere in the house, which again, could be as hidden as areas like these or as open as areas like these where even people on the fucking outside of the map can see you. Why the hell? So you find the code, get in, and then 
yeah, uh, this room will spawn. So this little area will spawn in different areas of the basement. It really depends. More RNG. I'm not. That's this one's not as severe, but it's still fucking annoying that literally everything about this map so far has been completely random and up to chance. And then once you do that, you hack the computer, wait for Rose to check it out, and then one of the six servers that are here will have it. Yeah, more RNG. And then you have to leave. Except you have to remember the door that you came in through. And if you don't remember, and you're wasting time, and you're wasting time, it's so annoying. Oh wait, I didn't even mention this. You're on a fucking time limit. Yeah. Because this map wasn't hard enough with all the RNG you have to do with. You are on a nine minute time limit to complete the map. What do I mean by that, you might ask? Well, turns out, if you are in the map for too long, Steel Cove just spawns in. That's it. They don't even they don't even do anything about you can't do anything about it. They just spawn in after nine minutes and then boom, you're going loud. So you have to be so fucking fast with this map, and it's ridiculous the amount of shit that you have to do. It's so annoying. Stealth is so broken. I haven't even mentioned that you still have to get a disguise. Yeah, I said earlier that everybody drops a radio, so Getting a disguise is a little bit annoying because there's no real consistent way to really do it. I mean, the most consistent thing you can do is lure somebody with this bush here. Real. Like you can camp by this bush and just lure somebody over here. It doesn't matter if they have a radio off because you have to answer a fucking radio anyway. So yeah, that's the entire map in the stealth. What's the difference between that and loud? I mean, it's more straightforward. That's just all loud missions, really. Time for loud. This map is so fucking annoying the less players you have. This map is so fucking annoying. In maps like, in maps like Black Sight, Deposit, and Financer, those are doable solo. You don't need multiple people really to do that mission. This mission, oh my fucking god, the less players you have, the more hard this is gonna be. And even if you have four players, this map is still so goddamn annoying at times. It's not even fun on loud. You have to move, instead of having to move one server, you now have to move six because Rose doesn't know which server you have to hack. So, yeah, that's a thing. So yeah, you have to move all those servers out. But wait, how are you gonna get the door open now that the key card, now that the keypad doesn't work? You either take five years to drill the thing, five years to blowtorch the thing, or you can just get somebody with a thumper to blow the door open. Or C4, that works too, but just use a thumper. Get the door open and start moving the servers. I'm telling you, the less players you have, the harder this is going to be, because you have to move six servers. Don't put them in the boat. Do not put them in the boat before you collect all of them. Just put them by the boat and wait until all those servers are there. So you have to do all of that while you have a million Steel Cove soldiers shooting you from all sorts of distances and the third angles on the map. Oh, and uh, sh Shredders exist now. Instead of bulky Aegis units who just cower behind a shield and have a, some machine gun in their hand, you now have Shredders who don't have a shield, still bulky as shit, and just wield a goddamn light machine gun and try to mow you and your entire crew down. If you do not have the vitalities to fight this guy, don't even bother. Especially because two of them spawn on Legend. And it's, they're not super annoying, but goddamn are they fucking tanky at times. I gotta say though, I do actually like Shredders a lot more than I do Age Fiends. Shredders are fucking badass. But hey, that's not what I'm here to talk about. So once you move all the servers, you thought you were done? No! No, you're not done. As you're moving in the servers, a fucking gunship spawns in. That's right. You have to fight a gunship. And oh my god, I have not said this enough. If you, the less players you have, the harder this map is. This map is so brutal. This is so hard to do, Legend Loud Solo. But oh my god, did I still manage to do it anyway. You mow down the gunship, I would suggest that you have the best aim possible with your thumper shots because it will absolutely decimate this thing's life. You kill the thing, and then boom, you're done. Oh, and uh, did I mention while you're trying to kill this gunship, you still have to deal with the many still cold soldiers who are trying to shoot at you. So, you can never focus on one thing. Regardless of whether you have a team or not, this map is not fun. And oh god, is this map not rewarding either. You get less money than deposit. I repeat. Less money than deposit. That's the starting map. You should have a lower reward on 
a normal map than you do the fucking starting map. To me, that about translates to being in like the middle of the game and getting less rewards as opposed to being in the fucking tutorial level and getting rewards. Not that Deposit is the tutorial level, but it might as well be because like that's the first map you start with when you're first playing entry point. So that's dumb. You do all, you have all that hard work and it doesn't it barely even pays off and it's far from a good grind. If you want more money, you collect these boxes. But the only problem with that is that you need four people to get all the boxes. And you'll never be able to carry more than one box if you're doing it solo because they take up so much space in your inventory and you can't just put them in your bag either. I don't know if you can fill up a bag with uh, these boxes. But I'm not here to find out. So yeah, that's just the entirety of Lakehouse. What can I say that's good about this map? Well, the soundtrack. Yeah, the stealth track is pretty good. It's nice and calm. Too bad this map is fucking anything but that. This is just the worst map. The Lakehouse loud track is kind of cool, I guess, but so, so annoying after like a couple of loops. The theme just like, it's not even fucking cool anymore. The alt is pretty cool, I guess, but other than that, like, the themes on this map are just kind of meh. So yeah, I don't really have much of anything good to say about this map. This map is just the worst. You cannot change my mind, and I'm sure that if you've played Lakehouse, you would agree with me. This map sucks. It's so RNG dependent. And it's so goddamn annoying on stealth, and it's so challenging, it's not even fun. It doesn't matter if you have friends to play with. This map is still a complete shit show, one way or a fucking another. Now, I'm not gonna shit on the rest of the maps like I did with this map, or at least I'm gonna try not to. I just had to start off the series with this map, because this is the map that I have a lot to say about. And I feel like this would do, this would be a great starting point for the series. So, if you want to see me do more map reviews, then let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to do whatever you guys suggest next. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you do like this kind of shit. I do entry point content like this all the time, be it challenges, reviews of stuff, etc. I do sometimes stuff outside of entry point if you want to see that too. And yeah, goodbye, Agent Kenshin out. Fuck this map. God, this map sucks so bad.